Get out of here, Stalker. Hi guys, welcome to another Stalker Anomaly video. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to thank every single one of you for all the support that you guys have been showing me And I'm sorry. I haven't been uploading videos uh, too much as of late uh, work is kicking my ass There's a lot of work to be done this month um, So I, I pretty much don't have time at the moment um, To record as much as I wanted to so uh, And second of all I wanted to let you guys know that we're almost at 500 subs, which is insane. I never thought I would reach even 100 subs, but um, but you guys have been amazing. So what I thought that we should do for 500 subs is I'm going to do, I was thinking about doing a stalker stream on YouTube. I know I have my Twitch channel, but my Twitch channel now is just, you know, just for casual gaming with friends and stuff like that. So th this YouTube channel is becoming my, my primary source for stalker content. So what I thought to do was to do a Stalker Anomaly stream for 500 subs and, you know, have you guys uh, uh, in there. I'd love to chat with you guys. Uh, you know, you guys can ask questions. We'll talk about Stalker. We'll talk about anything you guys want. Stalker 2 hype or whatever. Um, and we'll just make it a huge, uh, fun uh, stream for, for you guys and for the community. I'm really looking forward to that. So let me know what you think about that idea. Uh, we might also have some more goodies uh, uh, prepared for that stream, but we'll, uh, we'll we'll let you know when the time comes. So again, thank you so much, everybody, for your support. It it it's it's overwhelming to be honest. Um, I can't thank you enough. So uh, hopefully we'll reach 500 subs soon, so we can get uh, so we can get that stream going. Okay. All right. Now back to the video. Um, a lot of you have been asking me uh, how how my modding stalker anomaly um that you know some of you have had uh, issues with with mods that you know you install mods and the game crashes or you thought you installed a mod but it's not working you don't see it working so uh before what 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 we used to do before was we just used to copy and paste or drag and drop uh, the game data files into the game data folder and with with no real particular order right uh or nobody would tell you you know a specific order they would just tell you oh this mod is not compatible with with such and such mods or something like that it was it was kind of like a hit or miss or trial and error if you will um and then this this uh modding uh, program came out which was okay but you know it made it easier but it wasn't it wasn't uh completely uh I would say effective right I used this a couple of times but I still had problems with it so somebody in November of last year um, made mod organizer this this great great software program uh, that people use for games like Skyrim for example uh, I've used it for Skyrim and it's amazing so when somebody said okay there we, we can now use mod organizer 2 for Stalker Anomaly, I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm modding this game to the tits. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to include this link in the description. Uh, this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Mod Organizer and prepare it for Stalker Anomaly. Uh, I'm not going to go through this whole thing in this video because, you know, it's a lot to go through. And I think it's very, uh, it's very accessible. Like, you, I didn't have any problems installing... Uh, mod organizer 2 for stalker anomaly just by reading this okay so i'm gonna leave this to you guys and what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna give you a quick uh a quick um view on how i have my mod organizer 2 set up so first of all one of the main uh one of the main awesome things about this uh program is that you can mod the game without touching the main uh anomaly folder so what this game does, it pretty much, uh, so if, if you go here to the instance manager, don't worry, this will be in the tutorial in the, uh, in the webpage when you set it up. I don't know why I named my instance portable, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, so what, what, what this program does, it, it detects the main game location, which this is mine right here, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, anomaly 5.1 mod organizer two, um, it takes it uses that game folder and you all these mods that you see here are installed in another folder in a mod organizer 2 folder so what it does it loads these mods into the main uh, um, while the main game loads and then 
it runs with all the mods so you're not touching the main game at all so if some of these mods screw up you're not screwing up the main version and aside from that aside from not having to keep uh installing reinstalling uh you know making 10,000 backups of the game game data folder and whatnot if a mod goes wrong and you have to go back and that is a huge advantage but aside from that you can have different mod profiles right so as you can see here, uh, these are all the mods that I have installed in Mod Organizer 2, but the ones that are, the ones that have a check mark are the ones that are enabled, um, are the ones that if I click run right here in the anomaly launcher, I click run, um, the ones that are checked off are the ones that are going to load with the game. So that's another awesome thing that you can just, you know, select, deselect whatever mods you, you, you want. Uh, if you only want to see the mods that are active you just filter for active right so for example how original right my anomaly <laughs> um this is these are the mods that i have active for the current youtube playthrough but you know i i made another profile called solarence anomaly which is i tried to um i tried to uh to to use Solarence mod pack like a month ago or something like that it was crazy so if i click on this you're gonna see a lot more mods are enabled right so you can just switch from one mod pack to the other click run boom it loads this mod pack uh i want to go back to my youtube uh modding uh profile i click i select this one click run bam it loads this one so i don't have to remember like oh shoot okay what mods did i have for my youtube what mods did i have for my casual playthroughs what mods did i have for my hardcore playthroughs and all that so that is really, really, really cool. Um, so how you create a, let me, let me just uh, take out the filters. There you go. So how do you create a mod pack? Well, uh, sorry, a profile. Uh, you're gonna see this uh, manage, uh, this manage um, option here as soon as you click on profile. So what this does, it, it comes up with a little window where you can uh, create a new profile, right? So, you hit create, you put the name of the profile. I don't know, I'll just say YouTube demo. <laughs> How original. And uh, you can either um, have it as default game configuration settings, or if you have this unclicked, it should uh, keep the configuration settings that you have already in your game. So then, you know, you click on that and you go to select. And there you go. We have a new profile. Obviously nothing is selected because we haven't selected any mods, but these, all these mods, again, I installed previously in the mod organizer. How do you install mods in the mod organizer, you say? Well, you can download them straight from, uh, you can download them and drag and drop them straight from the, uh, from mod DB. Or what I normally do is I go to this icon here, install a new mod from an archive. And I have all my stalker mods uh, here in one folder. So in this one, uh, 1.5.1 plus, you know, RC plus versions. So here I have, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of mods, right? So what you need to do is you just uh, click on one of these and let's say I'll, I don't know, we'll do a, uh, uh, I think I have all these installed already. <laughs> um hmm I don't know I'll just I'll just choose one I don't know the body health system or something all right so what you're gonna do is it uh, it gives you a quick install so this is the name this is the name that you're gonna uh, use it's a name that's gonna appear on this list I just normally keep it as uh, as is I don't change the name so then you click OK and it installs it and that's it. If you want to enable it, bam, you just enable it. Okay. Um, so when you run the game, uh, Brock's body health system uh, patch or whatever, well, patch, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a patch or something, but anyway, this is just an example. Um, you, uh, you should see it in the game, right? Uh, a couple of other things I wanted to cover. So I'm going to load up this one. 
you're going to see that there's a column here called conflicts, right? That seems to be a lot of people's problems when they install mods for Anomaly, that a lot of mods conflict with each other, okay? There's something very important that you need to know, which is called the load order, all right? As you can see here, priority, which mods have priority other, over others, because some mods um, touch the same files or the same lines of code. So in that case, mod organizer automatically detects if one mod is conflicting with another so that normally is not a bad thing because if you want to i'll i'll, I'll give you guys a perfect example uh blind sides re uh blind sides animations and eft style weapons okay uh, the animations they 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 mess with the uh, with, obviously with the with the weapons and so does the escape from Tarkov style weapon uh, repositioning right so in order to kind of um, get this uh, load order set obviously the first thing that you'd want to load first would be the animation pack right and as you can see here, if you click on it, it, the red means that these two are overwriting this mod. And whenever you see a green, it means that this mod is overwriting um, a previous mod. I don't know why. Oh, it's probably because Blindside has some sound in it. That's why it's uh, it's overwriting uh, one of the sound mods. Anyway, so in this case, we have to install first the Blindside reanimation pack. And then obviously, Blindside reanimation pack JRS patch. Uh, because this these two mods uh, apparently conflict with each other in a bad way so blindside created a patch and then now since we since we got the animations down but we want to change the positioning we install the EFT style afterwards so it'll tell you the um it'll tell you here the conflicts it, it might it might sound a little too uh rough right now the way i'm explaining it but trust me it will make sense as soon as you uh as soon as you get to to modding it uh, now, uh, since Mod Organizer 2 is um, starting to get used a lot within the Stalker Anomaly community, most mod developers have started to include um, load order tips um, in their mods. Like say, you know, this should be the last thing that loads, or this should load after every single sound mod, or this should load after, you know, they're, they're starting to do that. So, but a lot of this is still kind of trial and error. Uh, I've had to uh, test a few things out uh, before I was satisfied with it. Um, for example, if we go here to this mod pack, here I'm using Anomaly Magazines, I'm using, uh, you know, Sorting Plus, I'm using, I'm using a lot of things here um, that conflict with each other, as you could see <laughs> right here. Um, I remember the the anomaly magazines was just conflicting with a lot of things and there was a point where it just stopped working um like i couldn't even reload because the magazines wouldn't appear in the game and that was because i had another mod that was conflicting so you still have to do that trial and error thing but this mod organizer really makes it a lot easier because it tells you which mods are conflicting so then you don't have to keep looking at every single mod that you have installed you can just look at the ones that are conflicting. So I don't know. I think I think this is a great great tool, and the fact that the fact that you're not screwing up the the original the original files, right? That it created its own instance. You have your own mod profiles that you can set up. Um, it's 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 great. I think it's just great. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we can do a. Uh, a small test here right uh let's uh, let's do uh anomaly magazines i guess um we'll do uh i don't know uh main oh where's the clean ui there's a clean ui here we go clean ui mod and uh cinema effects why don't we do that let's install those three and we're just gonna launch none of them conflict with each other as you saw and we're gonna play. First thing you're gonna notice is that the menu has changed. If it loads up. <laughs> there we go. As you can see, the menu has changed. This is part of the clean UI mod, which I'm which I'm gonna be using now with my uh, new uh, um, for the new uh, episodes in 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 the playthrough. 
So we go to new game. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's really easy. You just click. You install. You click. You troubleshoot a little bit if if mods conflict with each other, and um, and you just load up the game and test it out. It made it so much easier. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but it made it so much easier to mod Anomaly, and um. It's it because before it would be it, it was a bitch to mod you'd have to spend a lot of time doing it So yeah, as you can see while well, I have the demo uh, thing on so I was testing some stuff earlier um, So let's see yep, we got the clean UI mod installed. I love this thing. I really do. It's really nice um, <clears throat> Oh crap, we got animations on let, let me turn those off so we don't waste time on animations. I don't even know why I'm putting these on, but anyway. So here you go, eject magazine. So here we now we know that um, anomaly magazines is installed because we can now eject magazines. We can load bullets into magazines. So oh, the FOV is kind of screwed up. Because uh, I'm using the other uh, the other weapon pack, the uh, EFT style weapon pack, but so we shot some bullets. Oh, what, what the hell? Do we have a spare mag in it, or did it just bug out? I think it just bugged out. <laughs> I think I, I I think we just bugged it out. <laughs> we weren't supposed to add add um add to loadout. I think. Uh, Oh, there we go. Wow, that's weird. Hmm, that's strange. Yeah, I think the mod bugged out. Well, uh, Anomaly Mag, uh, Anomaly Mag de developer, if you're watching this, uh, I think I just found a bug with your, uh, with your mod while loading in the mag. Uh, I clicked on add to loadout and it just bugged it out so but anyway that's not important right now <laughs> what's important is that we we saw that the mods loaded with mod organizer so um so now uh so now we can just start uh modding our own our own profile the way that we want it so there you go guys that is the that's pretty much i don't know it's it's not really a tutorial it's just sort of an explanation on how i mod um my game so yeah, if uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, the Anomaly Discord is also a really good place to ask questions uh, for stuff like this. And um, and yeah, I hope this video was helpful. And uh, yeah, you guys uh, enjoy your modding experience. Uh, trial and error always with modding, but trust me, the reward is there once it works. So <laughs> anyway. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video uh, and everybody take care. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.